Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Tech Services. I'm Brian and I got another cool video for you. Alright, so on today's video we're going to show you how to adjust the skew on the ADF or feeder as they call it. Now the skew is when you have a print like so, but the print is actually a little bit skewed on the paper. Now, this could be caused by multiple things. The trays, uh, the glass here, or the feeder could actually be out of skew and just need adjustment. So today we're just gonna focus on the feeder and how to determine if it is the feeder. And then from there, we will actually show you how the adjustment works. So you guys stay tuned and let's get started, baby. Alrighty, so first off, we need to determine where the skew is actually coming from and need to make sure it's actually coming from the ADF or feeder before we make our adjustments. So what we like to do is just print these little demo pages. Just print one out of each uh, tray first and you can just do them uh, internally by pressing menu, utility, user settings, printer settings, print reports, demo page. Just print one copy out of each tray, including the manual bypass. And then after it comes out, you'll just take it like so, turn it sideways, match them up and see if that line is nice and straight. And if it is, you're good. Just keep doing that on every tray. Now, I just wanna preface this by saying this is not the official way to do um, to adjust the skew, but it works pretty damn good. So if every tray is nice and straight, then you at least know that your internal prints are good and that means you don't have anything um, skew-wise wrong in those trays. Then you can move on to the glass. So same thing, print out a paper, throw it on the glass here, either direction does not matter. Actually keep it that direction, it should be a lot better. Close it and do the same thing. Run all the copies from every tray if you would like or just at least a couple trays, and then measure them as well. If they're nice and straight after you bring them out, then you're good to go, and then that, then you know that it is not coming from the glass. If you do get it from the glass, sometimes you gotta lift this section up just a little bit, and you'll see they'll be nice and straight. Now you move on to the feeder. So we'll do the same thing. You'll print out some pages again for multiple trays, or at least one tray that you know for sure is straight, and put it in the feeder, like so, nice and straight. Make sure the guides are nice and straight. Hit start, and I'll actually do one for you. So I know this paper is nice and straight. So. Then we'll run a copy. Now, this feeder's already been adjusted, so it's nice and straight, but I just wanna, we'll just mimic like it is skewed once it comes out. All right, there we go. So, like I said, take the paper out, match it up, and look at that. So, actually, this one is slightly skewed, not too bad, but as you can see, that's the skew. See how it's not? like that, or if it's up too high, that's skew. So you want those to be nice and straight coming from the feeder. All right, so now that we've identified that it's coming from the ADF, now we can move on to adjusting it. Okay, so what you wanna do now is come to the back of the copy and we're gonna remove these little brackets here. And just remember which orientation they go because that determines how high up the feeder can actually be raised. So it's just one screw on the left, There will be two screws on the right. All right, and this little bracket comes right off, just like so. Now that will allow us to open up the feeder fully, just like so. You want that nice and high. Okay, so now we'll just lift up the feeder and there's this little screw here. Just gonna wanna loosen it up a little bit just so it's nice and loose. And then that way the frame can move up and back when we adjust here. Just making sure that one's nice and tight. Okay, so take a look where it is as it should be, you know, right there in the center, which is where it should be. But you can move it up just a little bit or back a little just to adjust 
that skew to get it where you where you need it. All right, let's start the adjustment. Okay, so now we'll return back to the back of the ADF here, and you see you got this little screw, screw here. You can turn this clockwise or counterclockwise, and when you do that, you may or might not see, but the the feeder will move. Let me actually show you with the feeder up. So I'm gonna turn this screw clockwise. See it going up? Counterclockwise, it's coming back, just so you know. Okay, so that's how the adjustment's gonna work. Okay, so now that you've got it, so what we'll do is I like to just start with like two full rotations. Two full full clockwise rotations, and then you'll come right back to the front of the copier. Put your paper back on. Make sure you do have a straight piece of paper and you're using a tray that is nice and straight. And then hit start. And then we'll measure. And you just keep doing this. Go two forward. If it gets better, try another one forward. If it's worse, go backwards. So let's try. Let's see. All right. You can still see that one's still about the same so that's I'm just gonna go forward a couple more so we'll just keep playing with it and uh, I'll show you when I get it uh, nice and straight then we'll go ahead and lock it up this time I'm gonna go counterclockwise by three or four and let's give that a whirl okay now I'm getting closer and closer this one should be the, the final countdown just go back and forth. Just you can do half turns, full turns. Just keep going back and forth until you get closer and closer. You can even even start all the way on the other end and work your way back. But as you can see, let's see if I can get this here. Nice and straight. As you can see, that's pretty darn good. I am happy with that. You know, you can get it a little bit farther up like so, but I mean, that is pretty darn good, especially for a feeder. You're not even gonna notice it to the naked eye. All right, now that we're nice and happy, what we'll do is come around here. Let's lift open the feeder again, gently, gently. You don't wanna move it at all. And then we're gonna tighten this screw down now. Nice and tight. Just don't over tighten. Now, We'll bring it back down, test it one more time, and if it is good, we can put our brackets on, and the adjustment is complete. Let's see. Like I said, always make sure the guides are nice and snug. You don't want to cause an unintended skew. All right, let's see. Bring you back. Okay, make sure you are nice and straight. Uh, let's get you there. See? See how the paper edge is straight? That's how you can tell. And that is fine. It's just slightly off. That's probably less than a millimeter. So that's within spec. I think plus or, well, they say plus or minus five millimeters, but that's still too much. That is, uh, I would say, about 99% on. And like I said, sometimes you do get them where they're just 100% on. All right, so... That is it. That was how to adjust the ADF on a Konica C754, 654, 754E, all these models. Uh, most of them all work the exact same. So what I'm going to do is end this video, but uh, make sure you get your brackets back on, on the back, the same way that we had them, just like so. Put that in, get your screws in, and then you are good to go. So with that said, I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got many more videos to come. So we'll see you. Bye bye.